a drum. Specifically, it is a snare drum. A lot of these instruments, even though they aren't particularly esoteric, most school-age kids haven't seen them. They've heard them. They've heard them in movies. They've heard them in cartoons. They've heard them all their lives, but they didn't know what they looked like. Music is a part of our culture, and it's also a way for children to connect to other cultures as well. I think of, in some ways that a symphony orchestra is a perfect institution for children to be exposed to because it evolved over time and it's, a, it's composed of instruments that were brought from many, many different cultures from all over the world. Touching the heart and soul of all Oregonians is the stated mission of Oregon Symphony Music Director Carlos Calmar. With Calmar's arrival at the symphony in the fall of 2003, the official launch of the symphony's community music partnership began. For a conductor who comes from very far away and from a very different tradition and has uh, hardly ever worked with high school kids, and here I thought immediately there was a connection and that is due to the real extremely good work and programs of the teachers here. So I, I, I really enjoyed this. The most eagerly anticipated event of the partnership, a visit from the entire Oregon Symphony Orchestra, occurred in the spring of each initial year, after the ensembles from each section of the orchestra had made their visits. The faces of orchestra musicians made familiar through many months' visits to classrooms made the youth concert experience a much more meaningful one. Young musicians and their band and choral directors worked throughout the winter and spring with the symphony resident conductor Gregory Voida. It's very important for us to reach out and to go where our audience or our future audience is. There are many shows we do for families. It's equally fun for adults. It's very kid-friendly. The experience is something that you cannot experience anywhere else. We used visual art so that we had lesson plans for helping kids listen through painting or through visualizing sound and the kids themselves really hooked into it. The community concerts were preceded by a resource fair at which students and teachers showcase examples of student work. This is Miss Glenn's fifth grade class orchestra and we decided to do this because we wanted to um, get an idea of what it was like. These are the double bass. These are the cellos. Violas. The first violins. Second violins. Harp. And the woodwinds, we have the bassoons, oboes, clarinet, flute, and back to percussion. And then to brass. 
Yes, we have French horns, slide trombone, and the trumpets. It was my first time ever going to an orchestra or a symphony. And um, when I saw it, I knew where everything was. It looked different from what our model looked like, but we tried to look, make it look and represent the instruments. And it was really cool because you got to hear them play and work together with all the other people. The unique experience of the partnerships was not always the residency visits from the musicians, but rather the learning activities which ensued after each visit. The communities and schools took it upon themselves to deepen this relationship as it fit into their community's culture. They realized just how important having community-based music opportunities was. It's not just about getting money and having artists in schools. It's about changing the culture and the values in a community. After the orchestra visit, the partnership turned to developing a sustainable plan to grow partnership goals, utilizing local resources. The resulting plan was sustainable and implemented in year two, with an emphasis on strengthening local partnerships, while collaborating with the symphony on new and creative sources of funding. Um, first, you have to have the support of your district, your school board, your uh, community to um, focus efforts in that direction. At the school level, administrators need to be supportive of fine arts curriculum, finding some creative solutions to fund things where there is not often very much money. It takes teachers who are willing to do things differently, to look at um, flexible schedules or at integrating things into their classroom curriculum. It takes parent and community volunteers. What we need to do is to create those bridges. What I liked about the Community Music Partnership with the Oregon Symphony was the relationship of the selection process where rural communities had to step up and say they really wanted this. And then the symphony's commitment to come back and be there in the community, working with school teachers, working with students, working with families, and bringing the great music of the ages through the Oregon Symphony's performances uh, in these small towns across our state. I think that it's had a tremendous impact and it's, it's really a great model for orchestras to be in the community. It's a comprehensive model. I hope that we continue the program with uh, other communities in the future uh, because I think these, these relationships are critical to our long-term mission uh, at the Oregon Symphony and our long-term success as well.